India is a nation with unity and diversity and is a strong proponent of world peace. It's a land of festivals which does not belong to any one community but is celebrated by all. The people living on this land are like different beads joined together by an invisible string. So friends, today in our series of My India, we'll take a look at some of the stories of festivals, communal harmony and economic prosperity from Himalayas to Kanyakumari from our incredible India. The Tipitaka chanting ceremony recently took place under the mythological Bodhi tree located behind the Mahabodhi temple complex where Buddha is believed to have got enlightenment in the 6th century BC. Mahabodhi temple was declared as a world heritage site in the year 2002 by the UNESCO. Some 3,000 religious heads and monks from various countries such as Sri Lanka, Laos, Cambodia, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Nepal, Thailand, Singapore and Indonesia participated in the holy chanting praying for world peace. During the ceremony, teachings and message of Lord Buddha were spread. Take a look. Better than a thousand hollow words is one word that brings peace. Be kind to all creatures. This is the true religion. Just as a candle cannot burn without fire, men cannot live without a spiritual life. These were the teachings of Lord Buddha and during the 10-day ceremony, these messages were spread across the world. Thousands of monks and devotees from around the world visited the Mahabodhi Temple, a Buddhist pilgrimage site in Bihar, to attend the international Tripitaka chanting, which is a Buddhist ritual. The 12th International Tripitaka Chanting Ceremony is an annual affair which started in 2006. <laughs> तब 250 लोगों से शुरू हुआ था और आज इसकी संख्या कम से कम 25,000 की संख्या पहुंच चुकी है अभी इसमें 25,000 लोग इसमें शामिल हुए हैं ये 10 दिन तक चलेगी 2 दिसंबर से 12 दिसंबर तक का चांटिंग है और एक दिन के लिए धम्म यात्रा है जो वहां पे जे, जेटियन जाएगी जहां भगवान बुद्ध पद यात्रा किए थे उसी पद यात्रा को स्मरण करते हुए और ये धम्म धम्म यात्रा का आयोजन किया गया है 13 तारीख को During the ceremony Buddhist monks chanted teachings of Lord Buddha under the sacred Bodhi tree Buddhist scriptures describe Bodh Gaya as the navel of the earth where pilgrims and tourists from Sri Lanka, China, Japan and the entire Southeastern Asia throng the holiest of Buddhist shrines every year. Treading on the same path, a large number of monks and devotees dressed in their traditional attire from nearly 15 countries visited the Mahabodhi temple and chanted hymns and offered prayers to attain world peace. The Light of Buddha Dharma Foundation, uh, one with this case, executive, uh, Amare Council, International Buddhist Council, Dwara uh, Buddha Gaya, Karapsi, international 10 country, Bikku uh, Mahasanga, or uh, deputy around the round, deputy look. Uh, let people know participate here. Buddha Bhagavan ka de chandes dia triptak me sutra bina obidamma. To sutra pitak me dunia ko shanti ke liye aur mangal ke liye vikas ke liye especially Bharat ko mangal ke liye vikas ke liye ek puja ho raha hai, chanting ho raha hai. The ritual culminated into a peace march on December 13 when the Buddhists undertook foot march from Jethya, another Buddhist site in Gaya district, to Venuvan at Rajgir in Nalanda district. Eid -e Milad, the birth anniversary of Prophet Muhammad, was recently celebrated in the country with zeal and fervor. 
Large processions were taken out across the country. People of different religious faiths also joined their Muslim brethren in celebrating the occasion. Today we'll explore how the occasion spread the message of peace and brotherhood. A sea of people thronged the streets in different parts of the country on the occasion of Eid -e Milad celebrations. Eid -e Milad falls on the 12th day of Rabi al Awal, the third month in Islamic calendar. It is an important day for the Muslims who offer namaz and take part in other rituals. In Aligarh city, mosques were beautifully decorated and processions were taken out by a large number of Muslims. Religious hymns played on loudspeakers as people paid obeisance to the Prophet. People, irrespective of their religious beliefs, participated in the day-long celebrations, spreading the message of peace and brotherhood. موسیقی دفع کریں ایک دو معاف کر دیں تو ہم ملک میں محبت اور بھائی چارہ عام ہو جائے گا ہندوز ٹو ور نوٹ لیفٹ بیہائنڈ اور جوائنڈ ان در مسلم بردرن ان ان اپیٹوم آف کمیونل ہارمنی ہندوز آلسو ٹک پارٹ پر سیٹنگ اپ ریفریشمنٹ سٹالز فر در مسلم بردرز ان لکناو اور سب سے اچھی بات یہ ہے کہ اس جلوس میں بڑی تعداد میں ہمارے ہندو بھائیوں نے جگہ جگہ سبیلے لگائی ہیں اور سبیلے لگا کر مسلمانوں کا استقبال کر رہے ہیں جس سے ہمارے شہر کی گنگا جمنی تہذیب کو اور زیادہ طاقت اور قوت حاصل ہو رہی ہے ان صورت سیملر سینز آف برادرہوڈ پر ویٹنسٹ مینی کیمپس پر پوٹ اپ اور پیپل آفرڈ پریز اور اٹینڈڈ پروگرامز آرگنائز بائی ویریز ریلیجیس سوشل اور کلچرل آرگنائزیشنز آپ کا آنے کا یہی پیغام تھا کہ دنیا کے اندر جتنی بھی جہالت تھی اس کو ختم کرنے کا اور پیار کا پیغام لے کے آئے تھے اور ہم بھی یہی کہنا چاہتے ہیں کہ کسی بھی مذہب کے اندر ہر جو آئے وہ یہی پیغام لائے کہ ہمارے میں اکتا رہے پیار رہے محبت رہے اور ہمارے آقا نے ہمیں سا تمام قوم کو یہی دیا کیونکہ قرآن مجید کے اندر یہی فرمایا وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا إِلَّا رَحْمَتُ اللَّهِ عَلَمِينَ آپ تمام عالم پر رحمت بن کیا ہے اور آپ ہی رحمت اللہ عالمین ہے ایک لئے ہمارے نہیں ہر قوم کے واقع ہے اور ہر قوم کو چاہیے کہ یہ دن کو خوشی اور سیلویٹ کرے اور ہم یہی چاہیں گے کہ ہمارے دیکھ ہمارے وطن اور ہندوستان کے اندر اکتا اکھنٹا ہماری قائم رہے اور ہمارے میں پیار محبت اور بھائی چارہ رہے یہی ہماری دعا ہے اور ہمارا دیس ہمیں سا ترقی کرے جلوس نکالا جاتا ہے ہر سیر کے اندر اور یہ جلوس میں سبھی مسلم برادر اور ہر مذہب کے لوگ شریک ہوتے ہیں اور سبھی اسلامی طور طریقے سے جو پٹن ہوتا ہے ہمارے جو حضور پیغمبر صاحب کی سان میں پڑھا جاتا ہے اسلامی طور پر اور قومی اقلاس اور بھائی چارہ کے ساتھ بہت ہی ایک ایک تاکہ ایک سمبول یہاں آپ کو دیکھنے ملے گا It's a day to remember the teachings and kindness of the Holy Prophet and also to show how people of different communities are bound together by different festivals and celebrations. The third edition of the India Fikki Europe 29 Business Forum was recently held in New Delhi. The forum extended a platform to Indian and European investors to showcase each other's economic prowess. Wide deliberations were held during the conference on increasing the trade relations between the two. The partner country this time was the Republic of Cyprus. We have a report. Taking a cue, leaders, investors and head of institutions congregated at the India Fiki Europe 29 Business Forum. India and European countries stand united to gain immensely by harnessing economic complementaries and by broad-basing economic relations. And the same was witnessed at this forum. 
The India Fiki Europe 29 Business Forum was organized by the Ministry of External Affairs and the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry. India is a big market. India has many opportunities. India is good for investment today. And India is looking at people who can come here, share the technology, use this place for all the advantages to set up businesses and manufacturing which will assist you in how you sell your product elsewhere also. So it is all up to the business people of both India and Europe to work out what they can do. All I would say is that the trade between Europe and India, despite whatever figures Harsh Niyotia quoted, is far below the potential that exists. There's a great potential that exists. And uh, like I said, there are fields which are uh, unexplored. There are fields which need to be looked afresh. And there are areas away from what has been traditional so far, which can be explored for better results. India is becoming a very prominent place for global investments. And it is in this context that we would like to very warmly welcome the E29 countries to look at India more favorably and to explore the opportunities for mutual benefit. I am sure our friends from European countries would find Indian enterprises with a mission to go beyond and forge long-term business alliances. Be it technology sharing, joint ventures, or Indian investments in niche areas of mutual interest, E29 companies stand to gain a lot as India begins its onward march to develop its sustainable, futuristic, and modern cities and become the hub of top-end manufacturing. The burgeoning opportunities in India and the preferential status it enjoys in the global landscape have helped the country establish a long relationship with the European nations. The EU countries are India's largest regional trading partner, while India was the EU's 10th largest trading partner in 2013. Members of the European Union were eager to share their skills, goods and further boost their trade. Cyprus and India have traditionally enjoyed excellent relations. These are premised on deep friendship, mutual respect and close cooperation, particularly in the context of international organizations. Over the decades, the relationship has grown stronger, including in the economic and trade arena, while prospects of strengthening bilateral ties are more than promising in the years to come. Today's forum provides a great opportunity for high-level interaction between officials and business representatives alike, enabling a mutually beneficial and mutually reinforcing cooperation between India and Europe. Cyprus looks forward to new and promising prospects and opportunities for cooperation in the years to come. I wish every success in the deliberations of this forum. Therefore, we are eager to learn and to get inspiration from India on how to improve our efforts and achieve our aspirations. The Danish Innovation Center in India is an important means to this end. The Innovation Center's overall objective is to build bridges between the businesses and universities of Denmark and India, and to help ensuring partnering and fruitful collaboration within research, innovation, and education. Building skills is, as I said, building a better world in India, in Denmark, and across the globe. But skill development is a challenging endeavor. Therefore, it is crucial that we work together, learn from each other, India and European Union relations date to the early 1960s, with India being among us the first countries to establish diplomatic relations with the European Economic Community. Events like these help in promoting the economic trade between the two economic powers. The Indian auto industry is one of the largest in the world. The industry accounts for 7.1% of the country's GDP. The two-wheeler segment with 81% market share is the leader of the Indian automobile market owing to a growing middle class and a young population. 
Catching on the trend, a large number of Japanese companies in India are training the youth in technical field and providing logistic support to the industry. The contribution by the Japanese firms is helping a large number of youth in skills training. Take a look. India's two-wheeler market is huge and at the same time it also requires a large-scale workforce. Growing number of two-wheelers open new job opportunities for the youth in mechanical field. Treading on the same path, Japanese companies are contributing to the growth of Indian two-wheeler industry in a big way. In Chennai, the Japanese motorcycle maker Yamaha is supporting the education curriculum for motorcycle mechanics at a vocational training center. This curriculum provides education and job opportunities to school dropouts. The center is certified and rewarded from the government for promoting the Skill India policy. The content of the program includes manners and customer service skills. Furthermore, Yoka being part of the curriculum, the call is to foster sensible human beings. I am Dhanasegar, previously student of this uh, institute. So Yamaha is a bright uh, teaching me the ABC attitude, behavior and communication. So I feel proud to be here sharing my knowledge with the student of this Yamaha training school. The pass out from this institute have 100% employment records. The graduates have received outstanding records at the World Mechanic Grand Prix, which is organized by Yamaha. Initiated in 2013, Yamaha has organized 30 such classes all across India and has trained a large number of students. So this is a kind of a win-win model which we have created. With this, our dealers are going to be happy, customers are going to be happy with a good quality service. As a company, we are also going to be happy. And in the whole, as a society, we are going to contribute. So this is a kind of a unique program which we are carrying in India. By implementing Make in India policy, India is achieving a rapid growth. Meanwhile, an underdeveloped logistic infrastructure system has been creating issues such as prolonging shipping lead time, delays and difficulties, checking progress with goods in transit, etc. As the very first commercial project of the Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor, which is being promoted jointly by the Indian and Japanese government, Japan's NEC has established a joint venture with local company to build a structure that enhances the efficiency of logistics, making effort to solve the issue. NEC, which is working on solution for society, utilizes logistic visualization systems that are compatible with global standards from its experience of providing services in Japan. The new company will affix RFIT tags to containers being loaded and unloaded at boards in Mumbai. It will also install RFIT reader or writers at locations such as board entrances and exits, doll plazas on the expressway between Delhi and Mumbai, in land container depots. Positional information will then be gathered in real time via the cloud-based logistic visualization system. NEC's mission is to solve the issues facing society by maximizing the benefits of cutting easy ICT. So NEC has realized the logistic solution from simple vertical data into horizontal variable information of supply chain management. There are plans to link up with rail transit management systems, sport management systems and other existing systems to gather information such as freight train running times and container management status at the board. By searching using the container numbers, shippers and transport operators can get real-time searches based on accurate positional information. This will make significant contributions to shortening shipping lead times, reducing inventory levels and improving the accuracy of production plans. NEC has a vast experience in logistics and with the state-of-art solutions what NEC has, it can actually bring in the much required efficiency into this sector and currently India's transaction cost is on the higher side. With the kind of solutions NEC proposes and the best practices it can inculcate, so it would actually help the government in reducing the transaction cost. Logistic and transportation are important issues worldwide. It's essential to utilize the power of information and communications technology and improve the logistic infrastructure. 
India is a country with incredible stories of peace and brotherhood. People of different beliefs are joined together by an invisible string. Stories of a Muslim celebrating Diwali and a Hindu participating in Eid celebrations can be found in every nook and corner of the country. In this episode, we travel to a nondescript village in West Bengal where people of different communities took part in a fair to promote communal harmony. Radha Mohanpur village in Midnapur district of West Bengal might not be known to many, but it has been silently working for several years to spread the message of peace and brotherhood. In a show of communal harmony, Radha Mohanpur Jan Kalyan and Milan Mela committee recently organized a fair to establish harmony among different communities of the village. The fair, which started nearly 20 years back, has been attracting people of different religious beliefs and tribes. The organizer of the fair, Rajesh Ali, whose name is drawn from both the Hindu and Muslim religions, proudly claims to champion unity among people of different faiths. ये मिलन मेला सिर्फ आदमी से आदमी का मिलन नहीं बल्कि संप्रदाय से संप्रदाय का मिलन है और इस मिलन हम लोग बड़ा गर्व के साथ पालित करते हैं ये मेला राधा मोहनपुर मिलन मेला ये बरसों से होता आया है और आने वाला दिन में और भी भारी तादाद में भारी मजमा में इसको हम लोग मनाएंगे और ये सिर्फ मगरबी बंगाल नहीं बल्कि पूरे भारत में इसका प्रचार होगा आने वाला दिन में बिल्कुल हम लोग एक जैसा रहते हैं हम लोग कभी ईद मनाते हैं मैं मुसलमान हूँ तो हम मेरे काफ़ी सारे अहबाब दोस्त हैं जो हिंदू हैं उन्हें बुलाते हैं और एक साथ में ईद मनाते हैं इसका खुशियाँ यकीन बहुत बढ़ जाता है अल्लाह पाक हम लोगों को इस तरह से ज़िंदगी जीने का तोफ़ी दे कि हम अपने जिंदगी हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई हम सब है भाई भाई यही उम्मीद लेकर के दुनिया में जीते रहे और हमारा बंगाली कल्चर जो है ये इसके साथ में जुड़ा हुआ रहे पीपल अटेंडिंग दिस फेयर गेट अ चांस टू प्ले डांस एंड ईट टुगेदर अ होस्ट ऑफ एक्टिविटीज आर ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय द कमेटी मेंबर्स सो दैट पीपल मिंगल विद ईच अदर फ्रीली हमरा सांप्रदायिक समृद्धि बजाय रखार जन्नो छटी प्रजाति के हिंदू मुसलमान सिख जैन बौद्ध ख्रिश्चान सबा के लिए एक संगे एक पाते बसे खावा सबा के लिए एक संगे मेल में घोरा साम्प्रदायिक सम्प्रीति बजाय रेखे एट सब चे बस मेलार बैशिष्ट्य एकदम मिले मिसे क्यों राम और रहीम एक संगे बस मुड़ी खा छोला भाजा खा शिख भाई आस हिंदू भाई आस जैन भाई आस पाजी आस सबा मिले एक जान ईक्य सुरे and a village like Radha Mohanpur makes India an incredible land with incredible stories. India's northeastern region has unique culture and tradition and people from around the world flock to the northeast to experience this. Glimpses of this were also seen in the country's eastern state of Jharkhand recently. The capital city Ranchi hosted Octave Festival of the Northeast, a tribal festival which drew huge crowds from across the country. Let's see what the festival has got for us. The youths of the region took to the street of Ranchi dressed in their traditional rich attire leading a cultural procession showcasing their exquisite culture. Bahut acha lag raha hai aur har rajya ke log aaye hain unki sanskriti ek sath pura Bharat bana rahi hai ekta ka parichay de rahi hai bahut acha lag raha hai. More than 200 stalls displaying various handloom and handicrafts items of different states of northeast attracted visitors from all walks of life. Among the displayed items, dry flowers, various home decor items from Nagaland, an exclusive array of jewelry and Assam's famous Mekla chador was the major attraction. Mela to ya saal mein 15 baar lagta hai, lekin isme nayapan hai. Nayapan hai ki Nagaland ka hai, Kerala ka hai. और दिवाली सब तरह तरह के सामान बिक रहा है 
जो वाकई अच्छा है है ना जो और अगर मेला में नहीं मिलता है For foodies and gastronomes, delectable cuisines, including scrumptious momos from the state of Sikkim, was a delight of treat. Organizing such festival will go a long way in restoring the unity and diversity of various cultures and tradition of India. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia@nin.com. Now signing off with a glimpse at the fashion show organized in Surat in support of demonetization. I'm your host Nidhi and it's goodbye from the entire production team.